Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to export Webflow website code in 2024. So today, we're exploring the process of exporting a website from Webflow and obtaining its code. Whether you're looking to host your site elsewhere or collaborate with developers, stick around as I guide you through the steps of exporting a Webflow website code in 2024. And let's empower you with the flexibility to take your website wherever you need it. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll have to go and log in into your Webflow account. To do so, go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser. And of course, in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, basically let's just go to the URL section and type webflow.com and hit the enter button. This should take you into their home screen or main screen website right away. Of course, if you have an account, you can simply go and click on here on login to log into your account. And if you don't have an account, click on get started for free. It's free or start building, which will take you to create your account. If you don't know nothing about Webflow, you can simply scroll down to read more information about this website. First of all, see the frequently asked questions, see what people are saying about it, and just have a general idea or just familiarize yourself with uh, with the website a bit. Once, of course, if you're interested about the pricing also, here is it. You can post a video and read it all by your own. They have, of course, a free plan. And this is for general, this is for e-commerce if you want to. So, yeah. I'll just go here, click on login. Of course, you can log in with Google or, and I guess create an account also with Google. Yeah. If you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating or even logging in into your account. So for me, I'll just go here and log into my Webflow account and I will find myself in here right away. So once I find myself on dashboard or once I'm logged in into my account, I'll have to select the website projects. So go to your old sites and just select the sites that you want to export first of all. An example. So as an example, let's say this one, just go and access that and make, of course, let's just wait for the site until it's opened. Of course, make sure to do any necessary adjustments on the website before exporting it as an example. So as an example, you can edit the headers, the whatever you want. So you can edit a lot of things. Of course, I'm not good to like at designing websites and etc. So I'll let that for you. Of course, you can edit it or see uh, after all how to look for desktop, for tablets, for mobile landscape and for mobile uh, like portrait. And yeah, so once you made all the necessary adjustments, of course, now you will be able to export this website as code. E whether it's this one or any other one, you can simply go to the top right corner option on this design and go to the right, you'll find this and to the right, you'll find export code. So just go and click on that. And as you can see here, you will find a which, uh, so for you, of course, you will be able to select or access or customize the export like settings. You can review the exported settings and customize them according to your requirement. What you can customize is simply choosing, do you want HTML or CSS or JavaScript or assets, whatever you want. So let's say an example, we want HTML. So as you can see, exports don't include, make sure to know that, S uh, CMS, native form, or e-commerce functionality. You can export collection contents from the collections panels. And make sure to upgrade your workspace plan to export the site. You'll not be able to export it without like upgrading plan. And make sure to host with Webflow to take full advantage of our CMS e-commerce forms and search features. So as you can see, this HTML snippet is a limited preview. You will not be able to have the full preview of it. Why? Because you did not upgrade your plan, so you will not be able to export it. If you want to export it, you'll have to click on Upgrade Plan, of course. And as you can see, you will need this plan, the core plan at least. With the startup plan, you will not be able to. For the export, if you want to export it, this core plan will let you get maximum of three seats, uh, tenant host sites, custom code, and code export, which is what we need. And basic, of course, user rules, agency, freelancer, guests, and three, uh, 10 free commerce, free commenters, as you can see. So you can even here see like the features, other features of every one of them. So yeah, as you can see, you can go to whatever websites you want but you will not be able to export this 
without like the the plan and as we said you cannot export it or the export will not include the cms e-commerce functionality you can export it alone by your own of course as we said just select whatever you want to do as an example i don't know maybe you want like or you want to even see so if you're trying like as an example to copy from here you'll not be able to of course there's like an option to keep taking pictures of those like uh, small codes as an example i'll just show you I'll just take a picture of this as an example uh, i'll just go here and type extract extract text from image as an example and go here and simply just choose the file that you just like take a screenshot of i don't know if i can like just paste it so basically just go and drop that picture in here and it will extract of course the the text but you'll have to do it as you can see for all of this and also this is just limited so there might be some code in here that you are not able to see as you can see i don't know even how i moved it to the right a bit so make sure for you to upgrade your plan it's the best option to do it if you didn't like uh, do it this way uh, you might even have some code or issues or something like that if you don't want to even go and pay for a plan you can as an example take a picture if you have chat gbt4 just paste this picture in uh, ChatGPT4 and ask them to write a code that will have similar similar websites for the, the image that you're going to send them. It might help you, it might not, I don't know. Just try your luck if you have ChatGPT4. And yeah, and that's going to be it for me. So once you uh, upgrade your plan, you'll be able to copy your code and simply use it wherever you want. So there you have it. You successfully learned how to export your code using Webflow websites in 2024 with your website's code in hand you have the freedom to host it elsewhere collaborate with developers or make further customizations if you have any question or there is a specific topic that you would like me to cover in the next tutorial just drop it down below in the comment section and i'll try to do it as soon as possible if you like this video also make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to our channel for more helpful stories like this one so thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and goodbye. And I'll see you in the next video, of course.